With the truck permanently locked in four-wheel drive, Greg Probst and Nanny or Aralak of Freeport McMorin make their way towards the Jaya Wijaya Mountains in Papua, Indonesia. I don't know about dry season. Man. I don't think I've ever seen a dry season. Wow. Their destination is a legendary mine that is the largest gold and copper mine in the world. The engineering challenges in this rugged landscape included building a road to the top of a mountain. Bechtel, the engineering firm contracted to build the road, started by lowering small tractors onto the treacherous slopes. They tunneled through rock, laid foundations in the soft mud of the coastal mangrove swamps, and succeeded in creating what many thought was impossible. Before reaching the mine itself, the road passes through Tembagapura, a whole new city that had to be constructed to support the mine, its workers, and their families. From here, the mine is still a long ways off, and the fastest way to the top is by helicopter. From the air, the scope of the operation becomes apparent. The mill and supporting plants are nestled in a valley at an elevation of over 2,500 meters, but the ore body itself is much higher still. To reach the mine, the world's longest cable tramway was built, spanning an incredible 1.6 kilometers from the mill site to the ore deposit. The cable car finally reaches the summit, which is over 4,200 meters high. Thousands of tons of heavy equipment have been pulled and pushed up the mountain to build this mine in the clouds. There are few mines in the world that have overcome the engineering challenges that Grasberg posed. But then again, there are few mineral resources as big as Grasberg. It is literally a mountain of copper and gold. Even as the mine continues to tackle the engineering challenges of this remote part of the world, they are also developing the local human resource, the Papuans themselves. Mine work is a highly skilled job with multiple specializations, yet Freeport McMoran is committed to increasing the percentage of local Papuans hired each year. At the Nemingkawi Mining Institute, Papuans receive the specialized training required to operate the mine, particularly at extreme elevations. New operators train on custom simulators that teach them the techniques needed to be more productive and keep themselves and other workers safe before they get behind the wheel of a 360-ton truck. Freeport McMorin already has over 30 years of experience operating one of the largest open pit mines in the world. But those engineering challenges are changing as Grassberg moves into a new phase of mining, going underground. 